Welcome back English learners in today's lesson. We will delve into some common phrasal verbs that are used in everyday English. These expressions add depth and nonce to your conversation. So let's get started. Our first phrasal verb is burn out. This phrase is often used to describe a state of exhaustion or feeling overwhelmed. It's like feeling mentally and physically drained. For example, I've been working so hard lately that I think I might burn out. Remember, you can use burn out when you want to express being tired or lacking energy due to excessive work or stress. Yeah, just don't live it too fast, you know, you might burn out. Yeah, just don't live it too fast, you know, you might burn out. Yeah, just don't live it too fast, you know, you might burn out. I told you I burned out, you are busted, but you're dead. I want you work. I told you I burned out, you are busted, but you're dead. I want you work. I told you I burned out, you are busted, but you're dead. My teams are burned out. My teams are burned out. My teams are burned out. Moving on to the next phrasal verb. We have let down. To let someone down means to disappoint them or fail to meet their expectation. For instance, I promised my friend I would help with their project. But I let them down by not showing up. Remember, when you don't fulfill a commitment or fail to meet someone's expectations, you let them down. Don't let me down, kid. You're an American now. Don't let me down, kid. You're an American now. Don't let me down, kid. You're an American now. I'm not having you let down the whole house. I'm not having you let down the whole house. I'm not having you let down the whole house. Come on, baby, don't let me down. Come on, baby, don't let me down. Come on, baby, don't let me down. Next up is count on. When you count on someone, you rely on them for support, assistance, or trustworthiness. For example, I know I can count on my sister to help me when I need it. So if you have someone you can rely on, you can say that you count on them. Can I count on your support? Can I count on your support? Can I count on your support? Because you're old enough now to learn the most important lesson in life. You cannot count on anyone except yourself. Because you're old enough now to learn the most important lesson in life. You cannot count on anyone except yourself. Because you're old enough now to learn the most important lesson in life. You cannot count on anyone except yourself. Can I count on you when the time comes? Can I count on you when the time comes? Can I count on you? When the time comes. Our next phrasal verb is a bit more casual and often used in an imperative sense. Knock it off is an expression you can use to tell someone to stop doing something annoying or inappropriate. For instance, if someone is making noise during a movie, you can say, Hey, could you please knock it off? Remember, this phrase is used to request someone to cease an annoying behavior. All right, why don't you sit down so I can talk to you, okay? Hey, uh, folks, folks, can you knock it off, please? All right, why don't you sit down so I can talk to you, okay? Hey, uh, folks, folks, can you knock it off, please? All right, why don't you sit down so I can talk to you, okay? Hey, uh, folks, folks, can you knock it off, please? Why don't you knock it off for them negative waves? Why don't you knock it off for them negative waves? Why don't you knock it off for them negative waves? Ah, young love. Our next phrasal verb is crush on. To have a crush on, someone means to have romantic feelings or a strong attraction towards them. For example, I've had a crush on my classmate since the first day of school. So, when you have a secret admiration or infatuation, you can say you have a crush on someone. I just got this crush on my friend Angela and it's disgusting. I just got this crush on my friend Angela and... I used to have a huge crush on her, but um, now I can't even remember her name. 
I used to have a huge crush on her, but um, now I can't even remember her name. I used to have a huge crush on her, but um, now I can't even remember her name. Are you trying to tell me you have a crush on me? Are you trying to tell me you have a crush on me? Are you trying to tell me you have a crush on me? Thank you all for joining us today. Until next time, keep learning and keep improving your English skills. Thank you for watching. If the video was useful, please hit the like button.